In this video, you will learn how to create function keys for your new Flex clock. The administrator must first create function key templates. How do we create templates? First, navigate to the hamburger icon, then proceed and select the hardware device category. Then select the function key template page. Once the template page opens up, proceed and select the new button. This will allow you to create a new template. Next, proceed and enter the template description. In this example, we will name the clock Flex Clock OAK. Next, proceed and select the clock type. For this example, we're going to select Flex. Upon selecting the clock type, a list of function keys will appear. Please note, in this example, these are the five function keys that are available to employees and supervisors on the Flex Clock. If for any reason there is a specific function key that appears on the screen that you will not need, simply click on the X next to that function key and save those changes. This will remove that function key from the Flex Clock. If you accidentally deleted a template, how do you go about adding it? Simply find the first blank role, decide the order that this particular function key will live in. In this example, we're going to say it's going to be the first function key. Then we're going to grab swipe and go. Then under the prompt option, we're going to enter the prompt message. In this example, I'm going to say punch and go. Then I'm going to go ahead and save those changes. And now that function key is back on the list. Now, how do you go about managing the function keys? For this example, let's start out with the swipe and go function key. It is important that you identify the employee key type. For example, will the employee be entering their card number, SS number, or employee ID? In this example, we will select employee ID. Next, we need to fill in the input type. Will the employee simply enter their employee ID? Or will the employee be entering their employee ID? plus facial recognition. Proceed and make the selection. In this example, we're going to select key in plus facial. If that looks good, then proceed and update the configuration on the other function keys. I'm going to go ahead and save those changes. The next item that I want to address is the order that the function keys appear in. For example, we have swipe and go, punch in, punch out, then we have team punch, which is a key that's used by supervisors, then we have the transfer key, which is used by employees. I'm going to go ahead and change the order of these function keys. The team punch will be the fifth key on the clock. And the transfer key will be the fourth key on the clock. I'm going to go ahead and save those changes. As you can see, those updates have been made. Next, we're going to address the transfer function key and the team punch function key. The transfer key is used by employees to allocate hours to different work groups. The team punch has the option for supervisors to clock their employees in and out throughout the day, as well as allocate hours to different work groups. In order for both the employees and supervisors to be able to allocate hours, it is very important that we identify the work groups that they are able to allocate hours to. Where are those updates made? So for the transfer key, I don't want employees to transfer to a pay group. However, I do want employees to be able to allocate hours to a location. Once I've selected the location, I'm going to enter, enter location. Once I've selected the work group location, I'm going to enter a location message. So this is what will appear on the screen when employees are about to select the work group. It tells the employee that they need to enter or select a location. The other work group that employees will be able to allocate hours to will be to a department. I'm going to select department. And then I'm also going to enter a prompt message. In this example, what will appear on the screen reads enter department number. If that looks good, we're going to proceed and finalize the setup for this particular function key. The last item on here is the function key icon. If for some reason you would like to update the icon that appears on the flex clock, 
This is where those are updated. Simply click on this icon and a table with other icons will appear. Select the appropriate icon and that's how easy it is to update the function key icons. Next, let's finalize and update the function key named Team Punch. We also want supervisors to be able to allocate hours to different locations for their employees and also to different departments. Once that has been filled in, the last item that we're going to do is update the function key icon. Congratulations, your function key template has been created and now you can proceed and save the changes. Be sure to update your clock and these new function keys with the updated order, the updated input type, employee key types, the function key icons will appear on your flex clock. This concludes the function key setup overview.